Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is square root of x plus 4 minus square root of x minus 1 is equal to 1. To find the value of x from this equation, such that x is element of a real number. Now, in the first step, let's find the conditions for the value of x. Because here we have square root of x plus 4, so the x here, x plus 4, it should be greater than or equal to 0, so that the value of x should be a real number and not a complex number. And also, we have the other condition for here square root of x minus 1. For here, x to be a real number, this here, which is x minus 1, should be greater than or equal to 0. Now, from these two inequalities, here I will take 4 to this side, so it will be x should be is greater than or equal to negative 4. And here I will take negative 1 to this side, it will be x is greater than or equal to 1. Now, let's draw this and this in the number line. Here we have negative 4 and 1. So, from a number line, here it is 0, here it is 1, which is this. And here is negative 4, which is this. X, this is X line. So from here, negative X is greater than or equal to negative 4. So it is from here, negative 4 greater than is going to this way. So this here, it is X is greater than or equal to negative 4. And here, x is greater than or equal to 1. is from here, 1 going to this way. Now from here, this is the intersection. Intersection is from 1 to infinity. Therefore, the value of x is element of a number from 1 to positive infinity. 1 to positive infinity going to this way. Now, let's solve this uh, problem here to get the exact value of the value of x. So, from a problem which is square root of x plus 4, then minus square root of x minus 1 is equal to 1. From here, this minus square root of x minus 1, this will take to this side. So, it will be this which is square root of x plus 4 is equal to 1, then this will take to this side, so it will be plus square root of x minus 1. Then in the next step, we will square in both sides. So from this side, we will square it, and from this side, we will square it. So this square root will cancel square, so it will be this, which is x plus 4 is equal to the square of here, the square of this, it will be 1 square, it is 1, then plus 2 times 1, then times this square root of x minus 1, then plus the square of this, so here is square of square root of x minus 1, then bracket square. Then from here, it will be x plus 4 is equal to 1, then plus 2 times 1 times this, it will be 2 square root of x minus 1. Then plus, from here, this square root will cancel square. So it will be plus x minus 1. Then in the next step, from here, here we have 1 minus 1. So this and this, it is 0. Then from this side, we have x and from this side, we have x. So minus x in this side. And here we minus x into this side. So x minus x is 0. So here it will be 0 plus 4. It is 4 is equal to this here, which is 2 square root of x minus 1. x minus x, it is 0. So it will be this. Then in the next step, we'll divide by 2 in both sides. So this and this will cancel. 4 divided by 2, it is 2 is equal to square root of x minus 1. Then from here, we'll apply square in both sides. So 2 square, it is 4, is equal to, 
and here this square root will cancel square so it will be x minus 1 then we'll take negative 1 to this side so it will be 4 plus 1 is equal to x so it will be x is equal to 4 plus 1 it is 5 therefore this is the final answer for the value of x in this our problem whereas x if x it is 5 from here from the number line x is between 1 to infinity so 5 is between 1 and infinity positive value now let's check this answer if it is correct from our problem let's write here a problem which is square root of x plus 4 minus square root of x minus 1 is equal to 1 now from here it will be square root of x it is 5 5 plus 4 minus square root of x it is 5 minus 1 is it equal to 1 now from here to be square root of 5 5, 5 plus 4 it is 9 minus square root of 5 minus 1 it is 4 is it equal to 1 now square root of 9 it is 3 minus square root of 4 it is 2 is equal to 1 because 3 minus 2 it is 1 is equal to 1 now left side and right side are equal then it is true for the value of x is equal to 5. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps to miss out. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.